everybody, it's James Eggers here, the tie guy. Today I'm tying a brand that I'm not familiar with. Um, I actually had never even heard of this brand up until a couple weeks ago. I was shopping at a store called Raleigh Limited in Indianapolis, Indiana, and they carry most of the brands I like. Xenia, Isaia, Cuccinelli, you know, very, very good uh, brands. And um, the, I was looking at their ties, I was getting some Xenia ties, and uh, the salesman there, Jerry, recommended Italo Ferretti. Uh, I'm just going to call it Ferretti, but I think it's pronounced Italo Ferretti or something like that. Anyway, it's Ferretti. Uh, he said that they're um, a very high quality tie right there with the other Italian manufacturers made in the same factory, same silk. So we're going to give it a shot. I bought two of the ties. Price-wise, they're right about the same as a Xenia. They were $185 each. Um, this one is a beautiful traditional uh, tie. It's a navy blue diagonal stripe with green. And I don't have a lot of green ties, so I, I th thought, well, let's give this thing a shot. So I'm going to do a review of that since it's a brand I've never, a little, a, a little bit deeper dive in the review since it's a brand I'm not familiar with. Um, it's a very nice silk, I will say that. It's got a very nice soft feel. It's a pretty thick tie compared to like a Ferragamo. Uh, he compared it in quality. He said it's, it's kind of a cross between a Zinnia and a Ferragamo. And I think from a feel standpoint, I would agree with that because zinnias tend to be a little bit stiffer than Ferragamo, a little bit, um, a little bit stiffer than Ferragamo, a little bit thicker. Ferragamo a little bit softer, a little bit thinner. This is kind of this has the softness of a Ferragamo, but the thickness of a zinnia. It has a very unusual feature I noticed on the back of the tie. Um, I don't know how much you can see of this, but uh, there's the when they sewed the back together. Uh, you know, normally you have your ties looking just like this, but on the back, it's got like the navy just kind of sticking out like almost a tab here, and it's pretty thick. I've never seen that before. And I thought, well, I wonder if that's just this tie, but no, the other Ferretti tie I bought, uh, which is this one here, I'll be doing another review on it, um, it is made the exact same way. If you look at the back of it, it's got the same thing. So, so apparently that's a... I guess I guess that's kind of a signature of Ferretti ties. So I'm I'm assuming uh, something I haven't seen before, but I could see where that would be handy because of a little bit more weight, a little bit more thickness would keep that I would think in place a little bit better. So I'm looking forward to tying that up. Uh, a couple crit uh, criticisms, if you will, of the tie for a tie of this qual of this price and this this price point, the quality control should be, be should be really high. And I noticed a couple things like here. There's a string. I don't know how much you see this video. But a pretty big string hanging out here, all the way to here on the on the uh, on the main part of the tie, as well as on the I noticed on the back of the tie as well. This is uh, I don't know how much this you can see here, but pretty big strings hanging out on both sides. You know, if I'm gonna if I wanna make ties in Italy and sell them for $185 in America, I wanna make sure there's no strings hanging out. So um, so Italo Ferretti, uh, it looks like a pretty high quality tie. But you need to step up your quality control because it's a little bit unreasonable to sell a tie at this price point and not have it as close to perfect as can be. The rest of the tie, though, is pretty doggone good. On the back of the tie, it um, the, has the label that actually slides up and down. I don't know if that's supposed to come off or not. I'm going to leave it on there because I think it's kind of cool. But uh, all right, let's tie this tie up and see how it comes together as far as tying it goes. That's my review. Uh, beautiful tie, well-made tie. Just need to take uh, put those last finishing touches on it. Don't leave strings hanging out everywhere. I mean, for crying out loud, when you're stitching that tie up, um, you just snip off the extra string hanging off. Nobody wants that. It doesn't take that much time. And then you can sell your ties for $185, and I won't complain about it. Um, so that's tied up, though. I'm, I'm real curious as to how this thing ties. It's a fairly thick tie, so I know I'm going to need plenty of room here. And it looks like it's long enough to give me a uh, space here, even though I'm going long uh, for the thickness of the tie. Now, if you need help tying your ties, I do have tutorials on my page. Just um, go to my channel, and um, if, if you need help tying it, I just got distracted there. Uh, go to my channel, look at the ones that say tutorial. The ones that say tutorial on them, I actually go step by step on how to tie your tie. And, of course, I tie a full Windsor, or some people call it a double Windsor, because I like the perfect triangle on my ties. I can already tell just the way this is feeling. It's going to be a nice plush knot. It's not something I would wear with a button-down shirt because it's going to be a really nice thick knot. But man, this silk is really, it's plush. I mean, this is a well-made tie outside of those string issues. I believe I tied it a little bit too short. Let's see here. Tidy it all up here a little bit. We want the tip of the tie. That's uh, this part right here to come between the top and the bottom of the belt buckle. We are like short, yeah. So again, brand new brand of tie to me. Haven't tied it before. The little thing just came flying off the back, so we're going to set that to the side here. Um, didn't know exactly how much space I need, but obviously I need a little bit more. So let's tie it up again, see if we can get it right this time. My ties have to be perfect. And my suggestion for you is, if you tie your tie and the length's not right, retie it. 
If you tie your tie and the knot's not right, retie it. Because I think it's a privilege to, to dress nice. You know, I think it's a privilege to wear a suit and tie. I love putting a suit and tie on for work. And, and so I want it to look as good as it possibly can. Yeah, this tie's a beautiful knot. I mean, I'll tell you what. I could be a fan of Freddy ties if they'll tighten up the last little bit of quality control because this thing tied nice. I, I, I would say probably Brioni is a tie that comes to mind as far as just the feel of it while tying and, and Brioni's one of my favorite tie brands. Definitely a very high quality uh, silk. The construction's good and look at that knot. Look how beautiful that is. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, now now we're better off. We're about halfway down the belt buckle, right where we want to be. Let's tuck this into the keeper. And we have enough room. Some of these tagging brands don't give me enough room to tie full Windsor and put it in the keeper. All right, the look's going to start scrolling across the bottom of your screen. I'm going through it with you right now. Going with a darker look today. That's why we have a light blue shirt because it's a dark tie. But I think it matches well with this navy suit. So we're wearing a Myrna Gilda Zinnia suit. Uh, we're wearing a light blue Brooks Brothers shirt. We're in a navy and green. Italo Ferretti tie. <laughs> That's fun to say. Ferretti. It's Ferretti. Okay, I'm American. It's a Italo Ferretti tie. We're in a light brown Salvatore Ferragamo belt with a gold belt buckle. Pairing that with a pair of uh, Salvatore Ferragamo light brown Oxfords. Now on my Instagram, tie guy James Akers, you'll see close-ups of uh, everything. You know, everything will be staged here on this wall. You'll see selfies of me where I'm getting ready to take those right now. Clo uh, selfies of me with the outfit on, close-ups of the knot, close-ups of the labels with the tie label and everything else, as well as the shoes and the belt. So check out my Instagram. We have over 23,000 followers and growing. Uh, looking forward to hitting that 25,000 mark hopefully this month. Uh, uh, we're hoping to. So uh, check out my Instagram. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps as far as putting outfits together, learning a little bit more about men's fashion, and hope my honest review of this uh, Italo Ferretti tie helps you if you are looking to buy one of them. I am ready for work.